Well, there are only 35 more days left in the Texas legislative session. As we wind down, we still have some major bills up in the air, of course. Here with our capital status check, our political reporter, Josh Engel. Well, Robert, obviously the budget bill is still the biggest one left out there. Lawmakers face a shortfall as big as $27 billion. Just in the last few days, the Senate Finance Committee decided to tap $3 billion from the rainy day fund, something the House has firmly said it's against. On Wednesday, the Senate will debate the budget bill with that rainy day tie on the floor. After it's voted out, the bill will go to a conference committee between the two bodies. And once they work out their differences, the bill will go back to each chamber for a vote to adopt the budget for 2012 and 2013. Now, there is the possibility of a special session if there is no agreement in the next 35 days. But a former chair of the House Appropriations Committee, when the state faced a massive budget shortfall in the past, doesn't think it will come to that. Well, I think our 2003 with our $10 billion shortfall uh, is the closest thing we had to that. And we were able to get together and get a budget adopted and get out of here. Also, we're taking a status check of some of the other important pieces of legislation this session. Guns on campus. Two bills to allow concealed handgun license owners to carry their weapons into college buildings. They're still waiting for floor debates in both chambers. Voter ID. The bill is now in conference committee after passing both chambers. This is one of the governor's emergency items and would require voters to present a photo ID at the polls before casting a ballot. And the sonogram bill is also waiting for a floor debate in the Senate after already passing the full house. It would require doctors to perform a sonogram on patients seeking an abortion, but also require doctors to describe in detail what is seen on the sonogram and also offer the patient the chance to see the sonogram and hear the fetal heartbeat. In the studio, Josh Hinkle, KXAN Austin News. Josh